By order of King Regna, Serenoa escorts their esteemed guests back home, beyond the forest and over the mountains to a vast sand-swept land. Before long, a grand wall of stone rises before them. Known as the goddess's shield, behind it lies the source, Nozelia's only supply of salt. Upon the lake shores of the source towers a giant likeness of the goddess, ever watching over the flourishing city and the palace below. This is the holy state of Hyzant. of the goddess's shield, but its grandeur surpasses even my imagination. It protected the holy state from both Glenbrook and Esfrost during the war. None in history have succeeded in breaching it. Do you think you might fare better, Lord Serenor? I think penetrating these walls would be nigh impossible. <laughs> A most courteous answer. I should have expected as much. I've heard so much about. Indeed. Hyzantians offer their prayers up to the goddess's statue every day. They thank her for her blessing, for bestowing us with the source from which all Norzalia's salt is harvested. To see every citizen pray is astonishing. The goddess truly is at the center of all Hyzant. Just as the stories say. Even so, are there none who'd use this time of worship to rob their fellow citizens? There are none so misguided among the goddesses believers. All Hyzantians are guaranteed food, clothing, and shelter. The holy state has done everything in its power to eliminate poverty and ensure equality. As a result, no one envies others or craves riches for selfish reasons. Certainly if everyone were equal, there would be naught to fight about. But achieving absolute equality is impossible. The words of an unbeliever! The goddess showers her blessings fairly upon all who follow her teachings. Before we visit the Hierophant, there is one thing I must tell you about Lady Frederica. Under normal circumstances, the head of our nation would not permit an audience with one of Roselle and Extract. We have explained the circumstances, however, and she has been granted special permission to enter the palace as an envoy. That said, we would ask that Lady Frederica remain silent before the Holy One. Silent. Why? I reiterate that typically she would not be so much as allowed to attend. We ask for your understanding of our creed. 
You mean to treat one of Lenbrook's delegates as if she weren't even there? Prince Roland, you are here in secret. It would not do for you to gainsay another nation's religious creed. I have no objections. <sighs> My apologies. You needn't apologize. Let us do what we came here for. We appreciate your understanding. Now then, let us show you to the palace. The Hierophant imparts us with the Goddess's divine messages. None are allowed to look upon the Holy One's face. None save Minister Edor, who conveys their divine words to us. Pardon our intrusion. Lord Serenoa Wolfort of Glenbrook has escorted us home on behalf of King Regna. The Hierophant speaks to you. Saranoa Walford, we thank you for your gracious gesture. We are overjoyed and humbled that you have chosen to grace our nation with your presence. I am unworthy of such high praise, but honored nonetheless. House Walford and Hyzant have shared a deep bond ever since the Sultan War. On behalf of the Saintly Seven, it is my wish that our friendship will be as strong as it was with your Lord Father. But of course, I strive to one day measure up to his greatness. You will also, in time, succeed Lord Simon as advisor to the mining venture, I hear. The Hierophant would hear your true thoughts on the endeavor. I think it a significant stepping stone toward peace between the three nations. A safe reply, to say the least, Lord Serenoa. It is an ideal, an ideal that I can only hope is shared by all those involved. If I might ask, what is the ideal to which the Holy One aspires? I would share the Goddess's blessing with all of Norzelia. The Holy One wishes for a world where people are equal. The Goddess always watches over those who believe in her. May you all receive her divine protection. I apologize for visiting you in secret, but there is something I must ask you. I have heard that the people of Hyzant live in equality. They say the Goddess showers blessings upon those who follow her teachings. But is that the only reason? Oh, a studious one you are, Prince Roland. King Regna has raised you well. Of course, the Goddess's teachings are at the core of the equality our citizens enjoy. But there are many measures taken by the Holy State to ensure the happiness of our people. Minister Lila's Ministry of Medicine, which dedicates itself to the study of preserving life, is another example of this. The results of their research have allowed many people to overcome illness and injury and live long, healthy lives. Fascinating. I would like to hear more about Hyzant's medical discoveries. I see we managed to pique your interest. Minister Lila, I leave our guests in your capable hands. Pray, show them around the Ministry, and let them admire Hyzant's pursuit of life and magic.
Everyone is equal unless you have pink hair. Hey everyone, welcome back to more Triangle Strategy! I'm Slayer Matheson, last time we made our decision to go to the Holy State of Hyzant, and this time we will be exploring there, but we have a few things we want to take care of, mainly the side story of Frowning Hordeal. I'll talk about Roland in his absence. Brother? Where is Roland? I've yet to see him today. And you shan't, for he has left. Took it upon himself to join the mission abroad. He did? I... I see. Again, prioritizing his personal wishes above his station. Is there no end to his selfishness? You haven't any love for him, have you? Love? I would rather think of him as little as humanly possible. How can you say that? He's family. Royal family, and our duty is to the crown above all. Do not look to Roland for inspiration if you wish to carry yourself in a manner befitting your station, dear Cordelia. Well, Franny's kind of an asshole. Let's get to our exploration, though. That's much more fun, listening to Franny's bitching. Look, a Rosellen. I heard she's an envoy from Glenbrook. Be that as it may, is her kind even allowed to enter our halls? I can only assume she received special permission, since Minister Lila's showing her around. Huh. Ironic, considering the wishes of us researchers are hardly ever granted. <sighs> what a splendid facility you have here. I can see why your nation excels in the medical arts. Normally, only Ministry staff are allowed in. Having outsiders view our work is unprecedented. We cannot thank you enough for your generosity. If I heard correctly, it sounds like you are researching life itself. That we are. In order to cure illnesses and injuries, we must set our sights high. Even illnesses deemed uncurable in other nations? There is no miracle panacea in this world, but we like to think nothing is impossible. Wonderful. And would you be willing to share those results with others, should you achieve them? If you believe in the Goddess's teachings, yes. At least, that is what I would expect the Holy One to say. Minister Lila, the preparations for the experiment are complete. My apologies, but I must get back to work. You are free to take a look around. However, I ask you to not enter the restricted areas. Of course, nothing is free in the Ministry nor anywhere in Hyzant. And of course, when people are forced to adhere to teachings, there are some who will resist. Who might you be? Just a researcher, nothing more. What was his problem? Sir Noah, I could use some fresh air. If you don't mind. But of course, let us take a break outside. How are you faring, Frederica? 
Better than before, thank you, but I should like to rest in the shade for a spell. Of course, rest as long as you like. Take a moment to get to know the city. In addition to all of our other explorations, sometimes we'll be able to find merchants. Merchants will have, well, things to sell. These are completely different from our encampment merchants items, so it could be beneficial to have a bunch of money on hand. Unfortunately, I don't. I could grind up for a while, but I don't really feel like it. But yes, uh, that's one thing. Exploration is always really cool because you get to, well, explore new locales, learn more about the world, get more convictions, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, let's... Well, Frederica wants to talk to us about conviction stuff. I was near the gods and her followers looked upon the Roselle with disdain, yet I cannot help to worry for my people. Uh, yeah, it does make no sense why touch quality and then... Unless you have pink hair. I suppose my, I suppose my ancestors did something so unforgivable that we have yet to earn the gods' forgiveness. Roselle commanded those crimes have long since passed. House Wolford, people are judged by their deeds and not the circumstances of their birth. Does definitely seem like a little bit of bullshit, but oh well. It's rare for foreign dignitaries to be allowed into the ministry. Take your time looking around. From the source to the shield and the thriving city between them, I can scarcely decide what has me most impressed. I can only imagine that people feel the same way, judging by the smiles on their faces. Good to know, good to know. It is thanks to the Hierophant that we want for nothing. That definitely seems a little bit culty. Also, another thing with the whole equality thing, aside from just the treatment of the Rosels, I mean, there is also the Saintly Seven who are essentially lords. I mean, maybe they weren't born into that, who knows? Um, but, you know, they're still a little bit more equal than everyone else, it seems. Get to hop around a little bit. Have you seen the great big wall around the city? That's called the Goddess's Shield. It protects us and the salt from any who would do us harm. Most important of all is the salt. The Goddess decides what those at the Ministry of Medicine should study, so they do not squander their time pondering it themselves. Okay, so... I mean, I guess that's fairly similar to, like, Middle Ages Catholicism, where you do research to try to confirm things about religion. The source? Sorry, can't say no much more. Sacred place that a select few are allowed to enter. High Zant is a blessed nation, one where everyone lives in peace. But if you happen to see anyone suspicious, be sure to alert the nearest sentry. Could the streets really be that safe in a city this wealthy? Wish I could say the same of Glenbrook. Speaking of which, we should get ourselves some souvenirs before we head home. I'm sure your father would be happy to know you thought of them. Yeah, that's true. It must be nice having freedom to roam about another as a nation. Someone's a little bit angry. What does Rowan have to say? The council teaches to condemn the Roselle to backbreaking labor of the source to atone for the crimes of their forebears. I know it's the way of their nation, yet it doesn't sit well with me. Pray, take care of Lady Frederica. I no doubt this weighs heaviest upon her. I saw a shiny. Why is the wood shiny? That's a good question there. Uh, a little bit more information. Get an ice stone. Uh, I, is that the first one of those that we've gotten? Yes, okay. So, uh, any type of stone weapon. They are items with a fairly small range that do a little bit of damage. No TP costs. They are items, of course. And they will inflict that certain status. There is one for every type of element. All four of them. The goddess is on our side. Should another war arise, I know she would ensure the holy state's victory. In high sand, the goddess is teaching to determine where you work. Even at the Ministry of Medicine, you are only allowed to research subjects decided by the goddess, though I cannot deny the significance of their results. I mean, Gila would know this. I believe they're just at the Ministry of Arcane or something like that. Mr. X, I was always thinking of ways to make our nation even greater. He may be young, but he still is a role model to us all. Though it seems he views Minister Sorsley with distaste. And so we learn about 
I'll the axe arm himself. This is just between you and me. Not everyone is happy with the harvester. But honestly, I don't understand why. It's specific that no one's seen her. Everyone in High Zen knows the goddess's teachings. Obey the teachings and serve your nation, and you shall receive the goddess's blessing. It is not wealth that drives High Zen, but faith and the happiness of her people. Um, let's. I mean, yeah, that does make sense. Wealth is still important to happiness. Needless to say, our wealth springs from the source. The Roselle work there tirelessly, day after day, harvesting salt to atone for their past sins. We believers offer our prayers up to the goddess, who bestows her blessings upon us. Those blessings, in turn, bring us happiness. As, what, as long as one believes in the goddess here, wealth and happiness will naturally follow. I see. Thank you, Minister. Same as seven. appear to have some knowledge of things beyond us, which would make sense, this is their country. As one of the saintly seven, I manage the production and shipment of salt. That is to say, I single-handedly bear the burden of Hyzan's finances. I can only imagine I was bestowed with such venerable position in recognition of my unwavering faith to the goddess. Hyzan's a wonderful city. Please enjoy your time here to your heart's content. However, as that you do not interrupt Minister Sorcery's work, please stay away from the source. Let's keep talking to people. I must ask you to turn back. The source is just ahead. You also turn back, only those with proper permission can enter. The trail around the source is always tight. You cannot pass through here. And so that does seem like we've almost explored everything. But we get a second area. We can enter the Ministry of Medicine to get a little bit more information, a little bit more in terms of items, such as this ice amulet, which I will right away equip Frederica, because that increases her ice resistance by 30%, so now Frederica doesn't have that weakness. In addition, oh, sometimes the pathfinding is very weird. There is also, hold up, if I could just, there we go, an ice stone. The goddess saves all who believe in her. We research that we may aid her to that end. I mean, their city is peaceful, but there are soldiers aplenty in the streets and ministry. It really makes one wonder. I guess. But also at the same time, a lot of security doesn't hurt. The ministry's research helps save lives, and I'm proud to be a part of that. Well, that's, a, that's a valuable thing. It's our honor to help the sick and injured. The study of life fascinates me, so we may even lock this, unlock the secret to immortality someday. <laughs> I'm not good at an evil. I'm not good at evil laughs. This is as far as you go. Only those with the goddess's permission can enter. Researchers are highly respected in high stand. The ministries are a symbol of our nation's knowledge and a source of the people's pride. Jeez. This area is off limits. There are more delicate matters being researched up ahead. As such, I'll have to ask you to turn back. Researchers immerse themselves in whatever the goddess bids them study. Devoting our time to those studies is what brings us the greatest joy. The goddess's teachings unite the people. They're what govern this nation. Perhaps there's something to be learned in all of this. Perhaps. Perhaps there is. Perhaps there isn't. Who's to say? But I believe that is pretty much everything. I think we've investigated every house. Quite thoroughly. I believe we have robbed them of all of their things. The ice amulet is really the only big important thing because those are quite expensive. You can purchase them, however, there are some items uh, in some explorations that you cannot purchase. Uh, ice amulet, biggest thing here, and costs, I believe, it's either 1500 or 3000. I don't recall which off the top of my head. But. I believe, well, that's all that we really got. So, next time we'll end our exploration and, well, we'll finish our journey to Hyzant. But until then, see you guys later.